how is it real? Is mathematics an entity in its own right? Now, there are two views, some uh, which are the dualists say that sort of mathematics exists and has its own place in the universe and that we are basically uh, grabbing mathematical equations for discovery uh, and to a certain extent that is right. Roger Penrose in his book The Emperor's New Mind, not a Christian, <coughs> but he's a dualist. <clears throat> so in that sense he believes in abstract reality as well as physical reality. So there are many people who say, well, equations exist, you know. Um, the, the equation that E equals mc squared existed way before Einstein discovered it. Energy is mass times the speed of light squared. But there are others who say, and I think it's an interesting uh, thought in Christian thinking, Christian philosophers, have rightly said, well, really what's happening is that God is such a brilliant mathematician and that was said, by the way, by Paul Dirac, who was a very great physicist, but not a Christian. He said, God must be a mathematician of the highest order. Well, we, of course, agree with that. The, the Christian knows that God is a tremendous intellect. And although I wouldn't go quite as far as saying that E equals MC squared existed as an equation ready for Einstein to discover, nevertheless, uh, it is true that the whole concept of energy being related to mass was in God's thinking when he made the universe. So he understands mathematics. More than that, he basically has made everything logically connected. So that when Einstein came along, and again, not a Christian, great, great respecter of the fact that there was some sort of mind behind the universe, he got that far. But when he came along and understood the connection between energy and mass, he was, in one sense, discovering what God had already put there. So there is a sense in which we are discovering the mathematics that God has already made.